Imagine a time when the concept of atoms was nothing more than a philosophical speculation. A time when ideas about the universe and everything in it were born from thought experiments and philosophical debates, rather than empirical observations and mathematical equations. In the 5th century BCE, a Greek philosopher named Democritus proposed a theory that the universe was composed of tiny, indivisible particles. He called these particles atomos, meaning uncuttable. According to Democritus, these atomos were eternal, unchangeable, and so small that they couldn't be seen with the naked eye. This was a revolutionary idea, a leap of imagination that would shape the course of scientific thought for centuries to come. However, it wasn't until the 19th century that the atomic theory received its first scientific grounding, thanks to a man named John Dalton. A meteorologist by trade, Dalton's work with gases led him to propose that all matter was composed of atoms, individual particles that combined in specific ratios to form compounds. He suggested that atoms of a given element were identical in mass and properties, while atoms of different elements differed in mass and properties. This was a groundbreaking moment in the history of science. Dalton's atomic theory, though rudimentary by today's standards, provided a tangible basis for the existence of atoms. It transformed the concept of atoms from a philosophical speculation into a scientific fact. Yet as we moved into the 20th century, the atom revealed itself to be far more complex and intriguing than Dalton could have ever imagined. Scientists like J.J. Thompson, Ernest Rutherford and Niels Bohr would soon unveil a microcosmic world of subatomic particles, quantum mechanics and atomic energy. The atom was no longer just a tiny, indivisible particle, but a miniature universe in its own right. As our understanding evolved, so did our perception of the atom. The dawn of the 20th century brought with it a revolution in our understanding of the atom. This revolution was led by a cohort of brilliant minds, amongst whom was a man named Niels Bohr. In the early 1900s, Bohr proposed a model of the atom that, while it may seem simplistic to us now, was groundbreaking at the time. Bohr's model depicted the atom as a miniature solar system, with electrons orbiting around a central nucleus, much like planets around the Sun. But there was a twist. In Bohr's atomic solar system, the electrons could only orbit at certain fixed distances from the nucleus. This was a radical departure from classical physics, where an electron could theoretically be anywhere. This idea of quantization of particles existing in discrete states was the birth of quantum mechanics. It was a shift from a world of smooth transitions and continuity to a world of jumps and jolts where particles could leap from one state to another without crossing the space in between. This quantum leap, as it came to be known, challenged our understanding of reality and opened up a whole new world of possibilities. Bohr's model, while revolutionary, was not perfect. It worked well for hydrogen, the simplest atom, but struggled when it came to more complex atoms. Yet, the importance of his model lies not in its accuracy, but in the doors it opened. It paved the way for a more sophisticated understanding of the atom, one that went beyond the confines of classical physics and ventured into the realm of the quantum. The quantum model of the atom, with its strange and counterintuitive principles, changed our understanding of the universe on the smallest scales. But as we'll see, these quantum weirdnesses might have implications far beyond the atomic world. They might just provide a window into the structure of the cosmos itself. The quantum model opened up a new world of possibilities and set the stage for some intriguing parallels. Could our universe itself be an atom within an unimaginably larger cosmos? Now, that's a question that has sparked curiosity and speculation among some of the finest minds in physics. This concept, known as the atom-cosmos analogy, is as fascinating as it is mind-boggling. It suggests that the structural similarities between atoms and celestial systems are not just coincidental, but hint at a deeper connection. It's like peering into a fractal where the same pattern repeats itself on every scale, from the infinitesimally small to the unimaginably large. Historically, this idea has been entertained by luminaries such as Niels Bohr, the father of quantum mechanics. Bohr's model of the atom, with electrons orbiting the nucleus much like planets around a star, provides a visual representation of this analogy. 
But it doesn't stop there. Modern physicists too have been intrigued by this comparison, pondering over its implications and what it could reveal about the nature of our universe. Just think about it. Our solar system is but a tiny speck in our galaxy, which itself is one among billions in the universe. Could it be possible that our entire universe, in all its grandeur, is but a tiny speck within a larger cosmos? Could we be living inside an atom of an unfathomably larger universe? The atom-cosmos analogy posits that just as atoms are the building blocks of matter, universes could be the building blocks of a larger cosmos. It's a tantalizing idea, one that bridges the gap between the quantum and the cosmic, the micro and the macro. But while the structural similarities between atoms and celestial systems are striking, the forces governing them are fundamentally different. The principles of quantum mechanics that govern atoms are vastly different from the laws of classical physics that govern celestial bodies. This analogy, while fascinating, presents a host of scientific challenges. But isn't that what makes science so exciting? The pursuit of knowledge, the exploration of the unknown, and the tantalizing possibility of discovering something truly groundbreaking. Who knows what we might uncover when we dare to think outside the box. The forces that govern atoms and celestial bodies are fundamentally different. This statement presents one of the most formidable challenges in drawing a parallel between atoms and the cosmos. Let's consider the forces at play. In the realm of atoms, we have the strong and weak nuclear forces, electromagnetic forces, and gravity. Yet of these, gravity is so weak on the atomic scale that it's virtually negligible. On the other hand, in the cosmos, gravity is the dominant force, shaping galaxies and guiding the motion of planets. This difference in forces isn't merely a trivial detail. It's a fundamental distinction that separates the quantum and celestial realms. Quantum mechanics, the theory that describes the behavior of particles on the atomic and subatomic scale, is notorious for its weirdness. It allows for particles to be in multiple places at once, to tunnel through barriers, and to be entangled in a way that defies our ordinary understanding of space and time. Contrast this with classical physics, which governs the motion of celestial bodies. Here, the universe behaves in a predictable, deterministic manner, following the laws of motion set out by Sir Isaac Newton centuries ago, and later refined by Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. Adding another layer of complexity is the limitation of our current observational technology. While we've made tremendous strides in both quantum physics and cosmology, our understanding is bounded by what we can measure. Quantum phenomena are incredibly small and fleeting, while cosmic structures are unimaginably vast and distant. Even with the most advanced particle accelerators and space telescopes, there's a limit to what we can observe. Despite these challenges, the atom-cosmos analogy continues to captivate the scientific imagination. It's a testament to our human instinct to seek patterns, to find connections, and to strive for a unified understanding of the world around us. Even though this analogy may not hold up under scientific scrutiny, its value lies in the questions it raises, the exploration it inspires, and the sense of wonder it instills. Science is a journey, a never-ending quest for knowledge. It's an adventure that takes us from the smallest particles to the vast expanse of the cosmos, and everywhere in between. It's a journey fueled by curiosity and driven by the desire to understand. In our exploration of the atom-cosmos analogy, we've seen how our understanding of the universe and its mysteries has evolved over time. From the ancient atomism of Democritus to the quantum model of the early 20th century, each new discovery has brought us closer to understanding the universe we inhabit. Yet, as we delve deeper into the complexities of the cosmos, we're also reminded that there's so much we don't know. The forces that govern atoms are different from those that rule celestial bodies. The principles of quantum mechanics clash with those of classical physics, and our current observational technology has its limitations. But it's these very challenges and unknowns that make the quest for knowledge so captivating. For it's in the face of the unknown that our imaginations truly soar. 
The idea that our universe might be an atom within a larger cosmos is speculative, yes. It's not currently supported by evidence, but it's ideas like these that push the boundaries of our understanding. They make us question, they make us wonder, and they drive us to keep exploring, to keep questioning, to keep pushing. Because at the heart of it all, that's what science is. It's a quest, a quest to understand the world around us, the universe within us, and the cosmos that stretches out beyond us. And so, as we journey through this vast expanse of the unknown, we continue to seek answers. We continue to challenge our perceptions and our understanding. We continue to dream, to wonder, and to explore. Perhaps one day, we will discover that our universe is indeed an atom in an unfathomably larger cosmos. Until then, the journey continues.